the environment and everything. So it's, it's cool. I'm just chilling. Do you get energy from the fans? Because, I mean, I know you like fighting in front of jam-packed houses. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, the fans get, bring that energy, you know, so of course I get, you know, I get some energy from them. All right, between you and I, obviously, we don't have to tell the rest of the world, but what did you take away from today's press conference? Now, you know, we were just going back and forth, but, you know, uh, I'm mean, nervous. You know, I got him nervous, got him doing a lot of things he don't normally do, so, you know, he know he ain't never lie a while, so uh, June 15th, y'all gonna see. What can for those that are coming and they'll be at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, what can they expect out of Frank Martin? Y'all expect, y'all, y'all, y'all expect the
gentlemen, welcome to the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. I'm Ray Forrest. This Saturday night, it'll be PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video. Our main event, Gervonta Tang Davis defends his WBA likely championship of the world against undefeated contender from Detroit, Michigan, Frank the Ghost Martin. Both men are undefeated, heading in to Saturday night's matchup. Co-main event in the light heavyweight division for the interim WBC light heavyweight championship of the world. It'll be David Benavidez matching up against Alexander Butzik. What a matchup that is going to be. Benavidez campaigning at 175. This, his first opportunity at 175 pounds. But ladies and gentlemen, to begin our media workouts, we want to bring up a man who has a record of 24 wins, three losses, one draw. 12 wins come by way of a knockout, a 2012 United States Olympian. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Terrell Gushay. Terrell will match up against Carlos Adamas for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. Let's give it up for Terrell Gushay. Las Vegas, show him some love for the 2012 United States Olympian. All right, Terrell Gachet is going to work out for all of you, and then we're going to have a couple words with him. Some shadow boxing here from the middleweight contender as he prepares for his matchup against the Dominican Republic's own Carlos Adamas. Adamas with a 20 and 1 record. Terrell Gachet's been in some uh, battles before against the likes of Venezuela. Lada has fought Tim Zhu. Never shying away from any adversary and has been among the elite here at 160 for some time, also fighting at 54. So great to see Terrell Gachet and his entire team as he is with ongoing preparation for his matchup on Saturday. It is Terrell Gachet in the ring here at the Media Workouts. Terrell Gachet getting ready, he's got his gloves placed up and gonna hit some pads, some mitts, getting ready to go for his showdown against Carlos Adamas. It all goes down this Saturday, 8 Eastern, 5 local time from the MGM Grand Garden Arena celebrating their 100th championship fight night. It is Terrell Gachet in the ring.
Representative for Taranga Shea, ladies and gentlemen, from Cleveland, Ohio, the media workouts. Ahead of Saturday night's outstanding night of boxing, it is Terrell Gachet colliding against Carlos Adamas. Once Terrell is done, taking off his gloves, we're going to have a couple of words with him as fight week continues here in the fighting capital of the world. Great to be back at the MGM here in Las Vegas, the 100th championship fight night that this legendary, iconic venue is hosting. Terrell, as I mentioned the fact that this is the 100th championship fight night, for you to be a part of history, a venue, I know that you are a student of the game and you saw the likes of Iron Mike Tyson, Julio Cesar Chavez, Floyd Money Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, all compete at the MGM Grand or in the pay-per-views now that you're a part of history. What does it mean to you? I mean everything. This is what we work for. You know, um, I'm with the best team in the world, PBC. They put on great shows. Great fights, Amazon Prime with us, so we, uh, it's a blessing to be here. Yesterday, Grand Arrivals, the face-off between you and Carlos Adamas. Did you take anything away from it? Um, I don't really take too much away from that. We did everything in the gym. We ready. We step us. That's what we do. We just step next time to step. This has been a moment you've been looking forward to for quite some time. You fought for the world title before, had to work your way up. I know it hasn't been an easy road for you. But being a part of this training camp, knowing that you are getting closer to possibly realizing it, a lifelong dream, the significance that it has upon you. Um, you know, it's a lot of ups and downs in boxing. Um, I just stayed the course, I stayed focused, stayed training, kept my head down, kept grinding, stayed humble. And I'm here, and I'm blessed, and I'm ready to uh, win my world title. What can fans expect out of Terrell Gachet on Saturday night? You can expect me to go out there and put everything um, in, the, in the ring and um, come out with that, with that belt. Now is my time. I ain't worried about nothing. I'm ready. I'm focused. Lastly, when you see this fan support here in Las Vegas, you know, what does that mean to you? I mean, does it fuel you to really have extra motivation to go out and perform at such a high world-class level that you do? Yeah, um, it's always a blessing to be at this level, having all these people come out and support. The fans is what make the fights. And, um, I'm blessed to be here, and I want to go out there and put on a great show for them come Saturday night. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Terrell Gachet, the middleweight contender, as he prepares for his matchup against Carlos Adamas. That all comes your way this upcoming Saturday, as tickets for the event are available at AXS.com. The event promoted by GTG Promotions, Samson Boxing, TGB Promotions, and Man Down Promotions. The event sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. The event is yours. The crown is yours. And sponsored by El Mexicano Brand Products, bringing authentic sabor to your table. Somos El Mexicano. Ladies and gentlemen, from top to bottom, this is an outstanding night of boxing. Compliments of premier boxing champions. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special treat for all of you. Uh, before we went on the live stream, we had one half of the main event of the evening, the undefeated contender, Frank the Ghost Martin. Now, we want to bring into the ring here at MGM Grand, his record, 29 fights, 29 victories, 27 of those coming by way of knockout. He's a five-time three-division world champion looking to make yet another defense. He's the reigning and defending WBA lightweight champion of the world from Baltimore, Maryland. Here is Gervonta Tanka Davis. Tank, you're so good to sit. I, I, hey, listen, I don't want you to even lay a finger on me. I don't get paid for that, but... How excited are you? you? You had your first fight at MGM September of 2015. That was nearly nine years ago. Once again, you're headlining. But what does it mean for you being a part of the 100th championship fight night at the MGM Grand Garden Arena? Man, it feels good, you know, just coming back to uh, you know, uh, the MGM and being a part of something like legendary like this is amazing. You know? uh, it's a great card. Uh, the co-main is great. The undercard is great. I'm just excited to be here. Tell me about the press conference. You guys are going back and forth, and, and I loved it, but tell us, you know, for the fans that were checking it out, what did you take away from today's press conference? I was excited, you know, uh, try to, you know, 
spike it up for the fans and things like that. Just a lot of trash talk, trying to get in his head and things like that. Do you like that when you go back and forth with your opponents and trash talk? Does it add, make you, you know, add extra motivation to the gym? Yeah, and it's, and it's like a, a testing your opponent out to see if you can get in his head or not and things like that. So it was amazing. I, I felt like uh, I did a great job and things like that. Getting in his head, so it was good. You have a 93% knockout percentage, 27 knockouts. I've never experienced it. You do it at the highest level. What is it like? What's that feeling like when you knock somebody out? It feels good, especially when you have them claim on, on, on that button. It feels amazing. Better than sex. Really? Okay. For sure. Well, your word's not mine, but as we, as we look ahead towards Saturday night, what kind of statement are you looking to make? Uh, just a, you know, I just want to go out there and give the fans a, a great show. You know, put on a great performance in front of the uh, city of Las Vegas in a great, great building, the MGM. I just want to give the, uh, the fans the best show that they have watched. Anywhere you go, you sell out. Whether it be Crypto.com Arena, Barclays Center, MGM Grand, T-Mobile. But what does that reaction from the fans when you make that ring walk? How, does that get you hyped? How excited do you get? Yeah, it made, it made me feel like like we're together. Type, type thing. When I come out and, and they cheer for me, feel like that's my family and stuff like that. So it made it give me that that urge to do great. You know, they put on a great performance for them. Before I let you go, I know you're very proud of where you're from, Baltimore, Maryland. They've been with you since day one, before anybody else. What do you want to tell all the fans specifically in Baltimore? I uh, love y'all. Uh, keep supporting me. I fight for y'all, and that's everybody. That's all the fans. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Gervonta Tank Davis, everybody. <laughs> give it up. As I mentioned during the pre-fight press conference, electrifying, exciting, and exhilarating is what this man brings to the table. Gervonta Davis must see TV on the edge of your seat. He said, don't even go get your popcorn, right, Tank? He said, don't get popcorn. Get everything ready to go. Good to see Tank in the house here in Las Vegas talking with the reigning WBA lightweight champion of the world, Gervonta Tank Davis. He's going after victory number 30 in his quest to remain undefeated, but his adversary on Saturday will be none other than Frank Martin, both men with unblemished records. Someone is going to have to give up their undefeated record on Saturday night. It all goes down at MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas. Want to thank our sponsors, DraftKings Sportsbook, The Crown is yours, and Ed Mexicano Brand Products, bringing authentic sub order to your table. Somos Ed Mexicano. Now, just to give you an idea of five events, for those that are in attendance here at the MGM, we will have the weigh-in at 3 o'clock local time. That'll be 6 Eastern for those watching on the PBC YouTube page. So 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific time at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. You can watch the fighters face off for the final time ahead of their matchup. And then we will begin the night starting at 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 local time with three outstanding preliminary matchups that come your way for free on Prime Video or the PBC YouTube page. That'll lead us to the pay-per-view at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time, four championship fights that are coming your way as we celebrate the 100th championship fight night in the long and decorated career of the MGM Grand Garden Arena, the first event, January 29th, 1994, Julio Cesar Chavez and Frankie Randall also. PBC was born inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena in March of 2015. Keith Thurman's victory over Robert the Ghost Guerrero. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the second fight on the pay-per-view. This man, undefeated, 22-0, 10 knockouts. He is the former WBA super lightweight champion of the world. Capture the title back in August of 2022 with the victory over Batir Ahmedov. He is a native of the Dominican Republic, now training out of Las Vegas. Most recently scored a unanimous decision victory over Hector Madera. Last December, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former world champion and undefeated from La República Dominicana, Alberto Puyo. The 
Let's give it up for Alberto Puello, ladies and gentlemen. Alberto is going to work out here for the fans. Give it up for Alberto Puello. We'll talk to him after his workout, but it is Alberto Puello working out here at the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas as he will collide against Gary Antoine Russell for the interim WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. It is Alberto Puello, ladies and gentlemen, 22 and 0 with 10 knockouts working out here at the MGM Grand for all the fans. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Alberto Puello from the Dominican Republic. All right, we're gonna have a conversation with Alberto Puello. Alberto, being here in Las Vegas for this historic fight night, PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video, how excited are you for Saturday night? Bueno, ¿qué tan entusiasmado estás, Alberto, por estar en una noche histórica de la pelea de campeonato número 100 del MGM Grand y una gran cartelera el sábado por la noche? Estoy muy emocionado, muy emocionado de volver al ring y, y que más frente a hacerlo a un gran público como lo tendremos esta noche y por un título mundial. Estoy muy agradecido con PBC y créanme que esta oportunidad la voy a aprovechar al máximo. I'm really excited to be here, which is going to be a great night in front of great fans. I'm really thankful with PBC as well for making this happen and I'm looking forward to what's going to be a great night on Saturday night. 
Yesterday we had the grand arrival. It was a very enthusiastic and passionate crowd. What did you take away from your stare down with your opponent who's undefeated also in Gary Antoine Russell? ¿Qué conclusiones sacaste del careo que tuviste con Gary Antoine Russell ayer? Que lo pusiste por primera vez en persona. Todo muy bien, me sentí bastante cómodo y no confiado, pero sentí química de que vamos a dar un buen espectáculo como eh, para que el público solo disfrute, sentí eso. I felt comfortable, not overconfident, but comfortable. And it gave me the sense that we had good chemistry and that we're going to provide a great show for the fans on Saturday night. When fans come and, and they purchase the pay-per-view or they come into the MGM Grand Garden Arena with their tickets, what can they expect from the undefeated Alberto Puello? ¿Qué puede esperar la gente de parte del invicto dominicano Alberto Puello cuando te vengan a ver el sábado por la noche? Cuando la primera vez que van a esperar una gran pelea y sobre todo la victoria de mi parte, eh, voy a dar el máximo, eh, voy a llevar a cabo mi plan para ganar la pelea y dar una buena pelea para que todo el público se la disfrute que se lo merece. You can expect a great show because the fans deserve it. And that's what I'm going to try to do on Saturday night. I'm going to come out, give my best, I'm going to win and you guys are going to enjoy one hell of a fight. In your estimation, how do you see the fight playing out? Eh, ¿Cómo ves que va a ser la pelea de sábado? ¿Cuál sería tu vaticinio? Bueno, creo que Gary va a dejar que yo use mi boxeo, él como siempre. Es un pegado del nato, él va a querer buscar el knockout, pero yo soy un boxeador que conozco bastante el ring. Eh, voy a usar mi boxeo y a ganar mi pelea como, lo, como la, siempre la sé ganar, eh, usando mi distancia y yéndome al fuego las veces que sea necesario. It's going to be a, an interesting clash of styles because uh, Gary, I anticipate that he's going to let me box the way I usually box. He's a knockout artist. He's going to try to do his thing. But I anticipate the fight being in a way that I'm going to use the ring I'm gonna, and I'm going to win the way that I know how to win. Using my distance, my reach, and boxing my way to a victory. When you see a crowd like this, does it add extra added motivation to you in regards to what you can do inside the ring? ¿Te motiva el ver a toda esta gente, a todo lo que esta pelea representa cuando estás por entrar al cuadrilátero? Claro que sí, claro que sí, es una motivación grande para mí, eh, ver tantos espectadores, tanto público, eh, seguidores del boxeo, eso me anima a seguir y me anima a, a darle una buena pelea. Of course, uh, seeing everybody from you know, my opponent to the fans to everybody that's here, it motivates me to give everybody a great fight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the undefeated Alberto Puello. He matches up against Gary Antoine Russell for the interim WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up one half of our co-main event. It'll be for the interim WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. This man with a record of 20 wins, opposite one defeat, 16 wins, coming by way of knockout. A 2012 Olympic bronze medalist representing his native Ukraine, now training out of Southern California, won his world title with an 11th round knockout over Adonis Stevenson back in December of 2018. He's the former WBC light heavyweight champion of the world. On Saturday night, he will be the co-main event against David Benavides. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from the Ukraine, Alexander Obutsik. Put your hands together for Alexander Vodzik. He's gonna work out for all of you and then we're gonna have a couple of questions for him so we will allow Alexander to work out or do what he's gonna do for all of you, the fans here, in preparation for his matchup against David Benavides.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Alexander Wojcik. Alexander, I have a couple of questions for you. Yesterday, the uh, as you participated in the Grand Arrivals, the excitement, the energy, the anticipation. What's it like being a part of the 100th championship fight that here at MGM Grand Garden Arena? Oh, it's crazy. This is a place where it was my pro debut, and now, like, 11 years later, I'm still here fighting for the, you know, for the title against the top opponent. What can be better? It's exciting. Motivates me a lot. David Benavides fighting here at 175. How much do you want to provide an unfriendly welcome to the undefeated super middleweight champion? Well, I don't think anyone's friendly in the ring, you know, like, and that doesn't matter for me. Well, at 175, he moved up. I think he's ready, and we will, we will fight. We will hit each other. Oh, well, obviously, that is the name of the game. But as you've been going through training camp, how does this camp compare to the others? I think it was a great camp. Uh, no excuses. I'm in great shape. Probably one of the best shape of my life. So perfect. I'm ready. I'm ready to, to, to prove I'm, I'm the best. What kind of fight are you anticipating out of David Benavides? Because it's clear that both you and him are high contact fighters. Well, basically, he'll, he'll apply a lot of pressure, you know, like uh, he uh, throws this multi-punches combination. So I actually expect a hard fight, you know, but I'm ready at all the challenges. I, I did my, my homework very well, and I, I have no doubt I'll handle it. It's no secret that you like to mix it up. I feel like that's how you're built. Is it nice to know that it's not going to be hard to find this guy? I don't really know what, what do you mean. In terms of he's going to be aggressive. You know, you're not going to have to necessarily cut off the ring. He's going to be right in the center of the ring. You like to go to the center of the ring, and off we go. Well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll play by ear, but I'm ready for any scenario. If you're going to make a lot of pressure, I will time a bit into the punch, time him, you know, counter him. I'm ready for all the scenarios. Prediction on the fight for Saturday. As I said, Come and watch it, it's gonna be exciting. You will never regret. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Alexander Wutzik. <laughs> Alexander will match up against David Benavides. Benavides making his light heavyweight debut. Alexander Wutzik, the former WBC light heavyweight champion of the world, joining us here in Las Vegas. Fight week fully underway for those watching on the stream tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 local time. We will have the undercard press conference. Then one hour later, 3 Eastern, New Pacific time, it'll be the co-main event presser featuring David Benavides and Alexander Wojcik. They all come your way, coming up tomorrow on the PPC YouTube page. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, we start the night on pay-per-view at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time, but at 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 local time here on the West Coast. We will have three exhilarating matchups that will be preceding the pay-per-view on Prime Video and the PBC YouTube page. We want to bring up a man who has a record of 16 wins, no losses, 13 wins coming by way of knockout, earned three impressive victories in 2023, including a most impressive knockout over Armando Resendiz last September. Please welcome the 21-year-old undefeated from Phoenix, Arizona. Here is Elijah Garcia. Elijah will match up against Kyron Davis. Coming up on Saturday afternoon, 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 Pacific Time, Elijah Garcia, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Throwing out some towels, I believe, some Team Garcia towels. Las Vegas, make some noise if you want some Elijah Garcia gear. Make some noise if you want.
you want some free towels from Team Garcia? Got an arm on him. He could probably play for the uh, Las Vegas A's when they make their way here. We'll let Elijah Garcia work out and then talk with him. He takes on Kyron Davis. One of the feature fights on our prelim portion. 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 Pacific time on Prime Video for free and also the BBC YouTube page. It's the undefeated Elijah Garcia. talk with Elijah Garcia. Elijah, look over here at uh, this camera. Originally, this fight was supposed to happen in March. Uh, the fight obviously did not take place. You were sick, but you know, tell us about how you're feeling as you head into this matchup once again against Kyron Davis. I feel good. I feel ready. Uh, you know, I had more time to prepare. Um, I know it's going to be a tough fight, and I'm ready. Now, in terms of once again being a part of Fight Week now, this is the 100th championship fight at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. I mean, you're 21 years of age, but there have been some iconic and legendary names and moments that have occurred inside this arena. Uh, it's a blessing, you know, another big card. You know, you know, I trained hard. I feel like you know, I kind of deserve it. So, you know, we're just going to take it one step at a time and, you know, we're blessed. 2023 was a tremendous year for you. Three victories, including having knocked out Armando Resendiz last September. What are you hoping that 2024 brings for Elijah Garcia? Uh, hopefully, you know, by the end of the year, we can call ourselves world champion. That's the goal. Uh, I've been aiming for that, you know, since last year. But, you know, I guess everything happens for a reason. So, um, you know, end of the year, we're going to get a world title. Last year was great, but that's in the past. Taking on a guy in Kyron Davis who is very difficult, you know, he trains well under the guidance of Stephen Bretman Edwards, but what kind of statement are you looking to make against Kyron Davis? Uh, like you said, he's you know, well-trained, very experienced opponent. Um, I'm just trying to go out there and put a good show for fans. Uh, I want to show, um, you know, I want to show that I'm ready for that world title. I want to make sure, you know, I'm at my best, 100%. And uh, I'm not really worried about the knockout. You know, I just want to put, you know, great performance. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause to Elijah Garcia. Undefeated out of Phoenix, Arizona. Great to talk with him. And the event on Saturday promoted by GTD Promotions, Samson Boxing, TGB Promotions, and Man Dot Promotions. The event sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours and sponsored by El Mexicano Brand Products, bringing authentic sabor to your table. Somos El Mexicano. We will talk with Carlos Adamas along with Gary Antoine Russell, still to come. David Benavides, my goodness, we have seen all, we will see all the fighters a part of our pay-per-view card along with those involved in our prelim portion, ladies and gentlemen, for championship fights that occur on Saturday night, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time also. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we want to bring into the ring here at the MGM Grand, this man with a record of 23 wins. Opposite one defeat, 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from the Dominican Republic, now training in Las Vegas. Most recently having stopped former Unified Champion Julian Williams last June. Ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday night, he will be making the first defense of his crown against the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, Terrell Gachet. Please welcome the reigning WBC middleweight champion of the world from La Republica Dominicana. Here is, damas y caballeros, Carlos Adames. Let's jump up 
We're gonna let Carlos Adamas work out for all of you. He will take on Terrell Gachet on a Saturday night. MGM Grand Carlos Adamas. He's the WBC middleweight champion of the world. Working out here in Las Vegas on the PBC YouTube page. We have our translator Martin Bonner coming in and we're going to talk with Carlos Adamas ahead of his matchup against Terrell Gachet. Uh, Carlos, it is great to see you. Can you tell us about what you are, what you took away from yesterday's uh, face-off with Terrell Cachet, you guys had the grand arrivals, went face-to-face, -face. what did you take away from that? Carlos, para verte, eh, ¿qué conclusiones sacaste del careo que tuviste con tu rival ayer? Lo pudiste ver en persona por primera vez. ¿Qué te pareció? Bueno, eh, me sentí muy bien, me sentí muy bien, ya que se ve un bolsador eh, bastante honorable para enfrentarme, ya que los otros oponentes no lo han sido, veremos que él lo sea. Eh, eh, perdón, lo último que dijiste? Well, you know, he looked good, you know, like I think that we, we both to each other very well and I, and I hope that he's an honorable and very presentable opponent so the fans can have a great fight. Now that you are the regular champion, you're making the first defense of the title, is it now an opportunity for you to say, hey, I'm the man here at 160? Bueno, yo soy el campeón, ahora acaso esta es la oportunidad para que vos digas yo soy la figura de esta división de 60 libras. Así es, así es. Para mí ahora mismo en estos momentos yo pienso que no hay, no hay rival, no tengo rival en estos momentos. Pienso que soy el mejor de la división, no le temo a ninguno de los de, de la división. A pesar de que hay otros campeones que sí me quieren enfrentar, yo también quiero enfrentarlo. Yo estoy dispuesto para cualquiera. Absolutely. I have no equal, I have no rival in this division. Whoever wants to come after me, go ahead. I want to face them just as much as they want to face me. So I don't fear anybody in this division. What separates Carlos Adames from the rest of the middleweights in the world? ¿Qué separa a Carlos Adames del resto de los pesos mediados del mundo? Lo que, sepa, lo que me separa de ellos es que yo estoy decidido. Yo estoy decidido a enfrentarlo a ellos cuando quiera, como sea, donde sea. A mí no, yo no le temo a ninguno de ellos. Eso es lo que me separa de ellos. Yo soy mejor que ellos y ellos lo saben. My conviction, that's what separates me from anybody in this division because they know that I can go up against anybody, they know that I want to face them and like I said before, I don't fear anyone and I'm game for anything. What message do you want to send to all the fans with your performance on Saturday night against a very tough and determined Terrell Gachet? ¿Qué mensaje le te gustaría mandarle a toda esta hermosa gente que te está viendo el sábado por la noche? Bueno, me siento, primeramente de decirle que me siento muy contento, me siento muy feliz de verlo a todo yo, Edward, a existir aquí a este gran evento. Me siento de verdad que eh, no tengo palabras cómo explicarle el agradecimiento que siento, no solamente a la República Dominicana, a todos los mexicanos también que se están dando cita a este gran evento. Quiero decirle que lo estoy apoyando al 100%, inclusive llevo su bandera en mi espalda en esta gran pelea. Espero que sigan apoyándome como lo han seguido haciendo hasta ahora. Me siento muy contento y gracias a Dios vamos para adelante. Dijiste que tenías la bandera de México en tu espalda, sí. Uh, and so, well, so basically I am so happy, so glad to see you all here and I want you all to know that I'm not just representing the Dominican Republic, I'm also really thankful to have the Mexican fan base support. I also carry the Mexican flag on my back, I want to make Mexico proud as well and I'm so happy to have the crowd support no matter where you're from because you are making me who I am. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the WBC middleweight champion of the world, Carlos Adames. All right, ladies.
Ladies and gentlemen, now we want to bring up a man who has an undefeated record, 17 wins. All of his victories coming by way of knockout. He joins us from Capitol Heights, Maryland. He is a 2016 United States Olympian who owns victories over the likes of Victor Posto, Francis Bartholomew, and most recently, he knocked out the previously unbeaten Kent Cruz in the first round last August on a Saturday night. He will match up against Alberto Pueyo for the interim WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the undefeated Gary Antoine Russell. Put your hands together for Gary Antoine Russell. Inside the ring, the undefeated Gary Antoine Russell. All right. All right, we're going to talk to Gary Antoine Russell. Undefeated, 17 wins, a knockout percentage. Uh, let me do my math correctly. That's right, 100%. Nobody has gone the distance with this man. Gary, what is the key to your power? I mean, have you been eating your vegetables or what, my man? Definitely spinach like Popeye. <laughs> now, nah, honestly though, um, everybody got their own different type of training. Um, we kind of like mix everything into our repertoire and we deal with a lot of physics. So. Your brother is the former featherweight champion of the world, Gary Russell Jr. You know, he's in your corner, it's a family affair. Uh, what does having such experience like your brother, uh, it's a funny family, what is that like to have in your corner and also your entire family around you? Oh man, it's a blessing. It makes me feel like I got a cheat code to the sport. And what kind of statement are you looking to make here? I bet the boy is undefeated, 22-0, 10 knockouts, but what are you hoping to demonstrate on Saturday? So everybody excellence, you know, um, definitely want to bring out the skill set. I normally just bring one style of fighting, but I know that he's going to bring a certain style to make me bring more tools out of my arsenal. So I just want to make sure that it continue to be an action-packed fight for me, you know, and I come on victorious with another knockout, keeping my knockout record. There have been some iconic names that have made that ring long at MGM Grand Garden Arena. As you are a part of the 100th championship fight night, what does that signify to you? That I'm now climbing the ladder to be one of the greats. After this fight, have you thought about what you could potentially desire in your next opportunity? Or are you just focused on this one? We're taking it one step at a time. My desire is definitely to be undisputed, though. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Gary Antoine Russell.
Always a pleasure to see the Russell family in the house. Gary Antoine Russell. He's nice right now, but when that bell rings, he gets really mean. I gotta tell you, I would not be wanting to stand across the ring from him. Gary Antoine Russell, ladies and gentlemen, joining us here. He takes on Alberto Puello for the interim WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. It all goes down this Saturday night. It is PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video. For all of you that are here in Las Vegas throughout the week, Friday, 3 o'clock local time, 6 Eastern. For those of you watching on the PBC YouTube page, the final, the weigh-in, the final stare down with the combatants. You will see them face off for the final time as we get ready for PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video this Saturday, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time. Tickets are available. They are going rapidly, AXS. Dot com along with this outstanding night of action we get prelim that comes your way at 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 Pacific time with three fights for free on Prime Video and the PBC YouTube page. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are just awaiting the second half of our co-main event of the evening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are awaiting the presence of the second half of our co-main event, but we mentioned there's nothing like being here in Las Vegas and also celebrating the West 100th Championship Fight Night at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. January 29, 1994, the arena opened up for boxing. Julio Cesar Chavez and Frankie Randall also. Mike Tyson fought Evander Holyfield. George Foreman became the oldest heavyweight champion in history by knocking out Michael Moore. Also, Mayweather Pacquiao happened inside that legendary arena back in May of 2015. Speaking of 2015, March of 2015, Premier Boxing Champions was born at the MGM Grand Garden Arena with Keith Thurman defeating Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Also, you saw Manny Pacquiao up and Keith Thurman back in July of 2019. As also, we've just seen so many memorable moments of uh, Floyd Mayweather fighting Canelo Alvarez back in September of 2013. And once again, we will continue to make history. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-main event on Saturday night features this man. He's an undefeated, two-time super middleweight champion of the world, making his light heavyweight debut. He put together a huge 2023. First up in March of last year, he defeated Caleb Plant in a memorable matchup. Then in November, he upended Demetrius Andrade, knocking him out and being the first man to hand him a defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, from Phoenix, Arizona, undefeated, 28 wins, 24 of those coming by way of knockup. He will be looking to become the interim WBC light heavyweight champion of the world, making his debut at 175 pounds. Please welcome David Benavides. He's joined by his father, Jose Benavides Sr., who is his trainer. He's got his son with him as well. It's great to see David Benavides, ladies and gentlemen. David, great to see you. We'll talk with you before we allow you, or before you go and work out. But David, the fan support yesterday, my goodness. What a response for you. You were signing autographs, taking photos. Again, I feel like the crowd has gotten bigger and it's gonna get bigger throughout all of fight week. What does this mean to you? Um, this means well to me. It's been in my been my dream since I was three years old, and you know I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of fun going out there and um, sh uh, sh showcasing my talents to the fans. David, as you look at your opponent Alexander Voitzik, you love to mix it up. You're a Mexican fighter. You got Mexican blood in you. How exciting is it for you to be able to know that this guy's not gonna be hard to find? Oh, I'm extremely excited. You know, um, we both prepared very well for this fight, and um, fans pay good money for this fight, and we're going to give them a hell of a war. Having your dad with you, Jose Benavides Sr., your brother who's a movie star, also 
campaigns and, and fights at 147 and 54. What's that like having your entire family here with you? you no, know, it just makes me really happy that I can have the whole support of my family, and um, you know, I'm just very excited to get this fight and then um, get the best possible performance I could possibly get. Fought at 168 your entire career, now you're at 175. What's the difference? Uh, I feel way more strong in this weight class, way stronger, way faster, and uh, yeah, man, I'm very excited for the Saturday. So wait a minute, are you telling me, you're saying you feel stronger, you feel better, are you telling me we're going to get a better David Benavides? 100%. Really? Yes, sir. What is it, your power, the speed? Everything, the power, the speed, and the endurance, everything is going to be, is going to be in another level. I remember when you made your national television debut back in November of 2015. You've been around the game for a long time, but you're still so young. Do you feel like a young veteran? I definitely do feel like a young veteran, and um, man, I, just, I feel like you know this is going to be the second. This is my second half of my career, and it's going to be the best. And I got another 10, 15 years. In me. I know you want. There's a name that you want that I think the world would love to see, but at this point. Do you feel that creating your own lane and just sort of fighting whoever's in front of you is your MO at this point? Or do you still crave and want that big fight? Obviously, the name I'm talking about is Canelo. Yeah, definitely. The whole world wants to see that fight, so we can get it. Let's give it to the fans. The fans definitely do deserve that fight, and let's make it happen. You guys want to see Canelo and David Benavides? I think that's a resounding yes, David. Yes, sir. Let's get it. All right, let's give it up for David Benavides, ladies and gentlemen. It worked well for all of you here on the BBC YouTube page. Also, a son as well has got his glove on. My goodness, fighting is certainly in the DNA of the Benavides family. Look at media workout here in Las Vegas as Fight Week continues here at the MGM Grand. Don't miss the uh, press conferences tomorrow. It'll be the undercard press conference, 2 Eastern, 11 Pacific time. That's the undercard. Then the co-main event press conference with David Benavides, Alexander Bonsick, 3 Eastern, New Pacific time, Friday the way in. Open to the public, 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific time, Fight Night. PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific Time. Prelim portion, 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 Pacific Time. We'll see you tomorrow for the undercard and the co-main event press conference as Fight Week continues with Premier
Boxing Champions pay-per-view on Prime Video. Welcome to Las Vegas. For the fans out there, we'll see you on Friday. For those watching around the world, we'll see you tomorrow for the press conferences on the PBC YouTube page. So long for now. The return of superstar Tank Davis. Will he steamroll unbeaten power puncher Frank the Ghost Martin? Bring it on. Let's go! Plus, David Benavidez is on a mission to wreak havoc on the light heavyweight division. Starting with Alexander Vazdik, two of boxing's biggest names, one explosive event. Warriors only, Saturday, June 15th, live on PBC Pay-Per-View on Prime Video.